Shalom, I'd like to say all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yashai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the brothers out there doing the works in truth and in sincerity. Today's lesson, I'm going into a lesson dealing with the Black Irish of uh, Jamaica and of the Caribbean. What um, inspired me to do this lesson, I saw a brother posted in the WhatsApp group chat um, this book. It's called uh, A West Indian Study, Whence the Black Irish of Jamaica, Whence the Black Irish of Jamaica by Joseph J. Williams, which I believe he was a Jesuit, a Catholic Jesuit, and uh, he wrote uh, another book entitled Hebrewism of West Africa. And he went uh, amongst the uh, Ashanti, mainly of Ghana, and he, re he saw that uh, they had uh, Hebrew culture in their um, tradition and he concluded that a lot of the Jamaicans of uh, the West Indians and so on the blacks in America so-called blacks of America are Hebrew Israelites so he has a couple um, good books Hebrewism of West Africa I have that book that's a good it's probably you could probably still get it you know online off of Amazon or chapters or uh, what's the next one there's another site where you could order books, you know, but yeah, he has some good books, and um, this book, I tried to download it off of uh, Goodreads, this site called, this application called Goodreads, but um, I wasn't able to download it, and I tried looking it up if it's on sale, and I don't see it anywhere, so this is a book that's hard to find, you know, because I'm sure it has a lot of, um, good information man and they don't want us to have access to this information so i'm just gonna go into a few articles that i saw it's like yeah This is off of Wikipedia. Irish people in Jamaica, it says, um, the total population, which Esau always tries to number our people, 300,000 to 700,000, estimated 25% of Jamaica's populations. And it says, um, languages, Jamaican English, Jamaican Patois, Irish historical, so, you know? And, and the Irish who came to Jamaica they were ex they were exiled from Ireland you know because our people uh, dwelled in Ireland during the dark ages in the big numbers man but you know our people were uh, exiled because Esau took over but there's descendants of uh, the Israelites who's still there who's uh intermingled with the the Edomites over there in Ireland man you know so these were crackers who came over in the Caribbean and Barbados and Montestad, Montestadarat. What well, I forgot how you say uh, Montestadarat or whatever, a little small island in the Caribbean. You know, they were black people. They're Israelites. Okay, it says Irish Jamaicans are Jamaican citizens whose ancestors originated from Ireland. Irish people are the second largest reported ethnic group in Jamaica after Jamaican African ancestry because if you go to Jamaica you're not going to see a lot of um, there's white people and stuff whatever there's a lot of there's a lot of white people there but our people the the so-called Irish Jamaicans they're um you know like you, you can't tell them apart from a regular Jamaican man because they were dark people they're already dark skinned man you know, it says um, Irish people are the second largest ethnic group in Jamaica after the Jamaican African ancestry. Population estimates range from 300,000 to 700,000, making Irish Jamaicans up to 25% of Jamaica's population. Most Jamaicans with Irish ancestry also have African ancestry because, yeah, we all mingled, man. And, and um... They weren't white people, man. They were Israelites, man. All right? Because they were exiled out of there as prisoners of war.
you know, and brought to the islands to serve uh, slavery, man. They weren't um, indentured servants, man. You know, like they came over there and a lot of them went to Barbados. And um, there's an island called Monster, Monsterat, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. You know, and um, that's where a lot of them went, man. It's a little small island. And I, I met a guy from there. You know, and you know, and he's a straight up Jake, man. It says uh the first wave of Irish immigrants occurred in the seventeenth century. Irish immigrant princip uh Irish immigrant principal pally sailors, servants and merchants. Many of the poor immigrants were displaced Gaelic Irish and Anglo Irish Catholics as well as convicts. One of the first English colonies in the Caribbean was established on Barbados in 1626. The term Barbados came from this event, denoting, denoting penal transportation, not slavery. See Irish indentured servants. Many English and Scots also suffered transportation because our people were our people ruled in those places, England, Scotland, Ireland, all throughout the, all throughout that region, man, you know, in Europe. Our people ruled all over Europe and our people were heavy in Germany and so on. But we were, uh, a, a lot of our people were exiled, you know, if they didn't want to uh, conform and follow after uh, Catholicism or, or Christianity, you know, after when Esau took over the churches. And started corrupting it, making our people eat swine and stuff which we weren't doing before, you know, until until we were, um, you know, under persecution of these devils. It says Irish merchant families from towns like Galway, Kins, Kins, Kinsale and Waterford established their trade networks in the Caribbean. And it says, um. Uh, First contact with Jamaica, Irish transport transportees were brought to Jamaica in large numbers under the English Republic Oliver Cromwell following the capture of Jamaica from the Spanish in 1655 by William Penn and Robert Venables as part of Cromwell's strategic plan to dominate the Caribbean, the Western design. The force that annexed the island undoubtedly contained large numbers of Irish troops as they were encouraged to leave Barbados where the army assembled. Between there, between three and 4,000 additional troops were raised from four volunteers among the indentured servants and freemen in the colony of Barbados, Monsteret, Nevis and St. Kitts, all islands are known to have large Irish population at this time. So why would the so-called white men enslave other white people? It wouldn't it doesn't make sense. Alright, when he's trying to conquer the uh, Tainos and Airwalks who's over here, why the hell would he bring his own people to come mingle with the the uh, um the people who he's trying to conquer? It doesn't make no damn sense if you really think about it, man. No, um, there's a reason why they uh they uh exi they exiled those Irish because they were they were Israelites, man, and he knew that, and he's coming to power in these places, where we once had you know a great influence, and he's and he got us the hell out of there, man, far, far away from um, from where we once dominated, man. You know, and that's why now oh, when you think of Irish, you think oh bunch of white guys who who like to drink uh a stout a Guinness stout or whatever and fucking get drunk you know but they are Israelites you know and there's a lot of Israelites who's uh, scattered in Ireland um to this day cuz Israel's scattered all over the world you know let me get that get a couple of scriptures also on that cuz yeah Israel's scattered all throughout the world right
It says my and then it says the Lord's heritage as as is um as unto a speckled bird, man. Let me get Deuteronomy twenty eight. Says so, and uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight verse sixty four and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even from one end of the earth even unto the other, all right. And there shalt thou serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone, and we're scattered all over the world to this day. That's why we have brothers, uh, you know, who's waking up in different countries like in uh, in um, South Africa now. Kenya, you know, Ghana, or wherever, you know, in uh, the UK, you know, in Jamaica, Trinidad, so on, in South America, Central America, you know, all throughout here, uh, North America, man, you have camps, you know, our people scattered all over the world. Our people has been scattered all over the world, and then now the Most High is raising up his elect. You know, amongst from these na he's waking up his elect from amongst the nations, man. You know? And he's he's gathering back his sheep, his sheep unto the fold, man, his desirable sheep, and then he's gonna cast away the undesirable sheep, man. You know? It says, And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shall thou find find no ease. So yeah, that the uh, those scriptures, these curses applied unto those the black Irish, the so called black Irish man, who were um exiled from Ireland, man. The curses of Deuteronomy twenty eight. You know, that that applies to them too. And that's why they're brought over here in slave in cargo slave ships, just like how you Negroes from Africa, from so-called Africa, we're brought over, you know, the same way too. You know, they're brought over, man. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, a failing of eyes, and a sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. You know, you gotta read this whole chapter, man. You know, read this whole chapter and it breaks it down, man. You know, th th those same curses apply unto those so called black Irish, man, and the so called the Scots, which are which are Scotland, just comes from the word Scotia, which means black, which I believe is, um, if you look it up in the Greek, you know, Scotia or Scot. You know, it just means black, if I'm not mistaken. All right. It says, um, 1656, Cromwell's Council of State voted that a thousand Irish girls and a thousand Irish young men be sent to Jamaica. It is not known that if the shipment was carried out, but it makes clear what was in Versace for the populating of the island with labor by the British government of that time. So, yeah. Irish immigration to Jamaica occurred primarily through importation of Irish prisoners of war, POWs, and indentured servants. They were just POWs, man. Prisoners of war, man. Or about indentured servants, man. Esau, you think Esau back then is going to enslave his own people, man? If anything, he's gonna hire them to you know to raise more hell upon Jake and make them our taskmasters, man. You know. Then it says, um Irish immigration to Jamaica occurred primarily through importation of Irish prisoners of war and indentured servants after the Irish Rebellion of sixteen forty one and also constituted the second largest record of ethnic influence to the country, man. And you could um you could read about the Irish Rebellion. It says while indentured servitude is often conflated with chattel slavery, this is incorrect. At uh, chattel slavery legally codified in sixteen sixty one Barbados Slave Code 
was based on black skin color you know but at the same time at the same time the irish they were dark skin man so you know so um they were placed in servitude too i don't give a, a damn if you want to say oh that that um that they're damn crackers man they weren't no damn white people man so-called white people man so while thousands of irish convicts militarily prisoners were sent in the 1650s the majority both before and after this held indentured indentured contracts indentured served to appeared in virginia by 1620 you know but that are just some of the points there and then um Migration to Jamaica continued through the 17th century, especially during the sugar boom on the sugar plantation of the West Indies, which forced many freed servants to look for land and bigger islands like Jamaica. A Barbadian historian has estimated that 10,000 Irish servants who left Barbados in the last quarter of the 17th century at least were destined for Jamaica where land was available for small farmers, also it suited the British to have Irish settle near the international frontier with the Maroons. 1670 to 1700, Jamaica became the perfect destination for Irish and English servants departing the Atlantic ports at Kinsale, Court, Galway, and Bristol, which those were port, uh, um, all those ports named those were ports that were used to exile the Jakes or the Israelites who were in England too. And um and to come to the Americans as slaves. And then the ones who they took from Africa, they brought to England too. Through these ports, man. A lot of these ports that they named. It says by the 17th century, some 10% of Jamaica landowners were Irish extraction. And several, such as Tekig Macamore. Tadig Mac Mac Morrow, who owned eight slaves, attained the rank of middle planter. Which you could read this whole um, this whole article here, but it says notable Jamaicans of Irish descent: Donovan Bailey, former former world record holder for the hundred meter race, which he's uh, he ran for Canada. So you know, so um, so why would it say that about Donovan Bailey, man? Because they know. And there's a lot of Baileys who, uh, who uh, I know a lot of Baileys too, all right? And that's why they have that Irish cream, which is named Baileys, man. It's not no coincidence, man. You know? Chris Blackwell, Alexander uh, Bustamin, which I believe Chris Blackwell, he's the one who discovered Bob Marley, and he has a big, um, big record label. Which he he looks like a Edomite, but I don't know if he could be a Edomite or he could be an Israelite because the scripture says um Israel's as a speckled bird, man. You know? I believe in Jeremiah. So our people come in all different kinds of shade. And when you look at a speckled bird, those are some of the most beautiful birds, man. You know, they have all the different spots on them, you know, which make it a, a distinct bird from the rest. You know? Alexander um, Bustamine, Lady Colin Campbell, author, socialite, Marcus Garvey. So Marcus Garvey is of Irish descent. It says Pan-African human rights leader, intellectual writer, and supporter of Irish independence struggle in Ireland and against British rule, man. And I believe he was from St. Andrew, and there was a lot of Irish, um, Irish who settled there and so on. All right, and there's um gonna get another article. It says um this one is a short history of the Irish in Jamaica. When Irish eyes are smiling, sure it's like the morning spring. In the lit of the Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay, which uh, I all, all that word gay meant was happy, but now they change it now. It says, and when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they steal your heart away. Israel, Israel is, um, 
You know, when Israel is the light of the earth, man. Israel is the salt of the earth, man. You know? These weren't no damn Edomites, man. When you, when the Edomite smiles, Esau doesn't have no uh, life, man. Our people are lively people. When you see a damn devil smile, you know he's a damn devil, man. He has something up his sleeve. You know, Esau doesn't have no kind of charisma or per glow or personality, man. They're just dead, man. That's why they say, oh, black man has soul. Esau don't have no soul. You know? In this short article, I have, I attempt to answer a puzzle that has bothered and intrigued me from the first set foot in, for the first set foot in Jamaica 20 years ago. What is... What is it about this small island and its people, 6,000 miles away from Ireland, with a population that originated mainly from a different continent that made me feel so at home, that caused me and many like me to make it our home and to cause many to ask if I'm in Borneo. Yeah, because yeah, if you look at um, a lot of these Irish musicians and stuff, they have some music that, you know, sound just like reggae music. I think there's a group called, um, there's a song called Red Wine. I forgot the name of this group, you know, but there's like a song that this like red, red wine or whatever, right? They're singing like, you know, and then they have some other songs, but it's like a Irish, it's like a Irish genre, but it has like a little reggae twist, man. And you can't even tell the difference. You're like, oh shit. You, 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 you like, you like type the video. On, on YouTube, whatever, or you look, type the name of the group, you know, and then you're going to see that they're white men. You're going to be like, oh, shit. Like, you know, it's like you're going to think, oh, by listening to them first, you're going to think, oh, that you're listening to some black man. Whatever. But, you know, it's the spirit, man, that's in them. You know, and it, it's could you know, it's, it sounds good. It's good to the ear, man. You know, it says that I was not the first Irishman to set foot on these shores was blatantly obvious from the Irish place names that abound in Jamaica, Irish town and Dublin castle in the cool hills of St. Andrew, Irish Penn, Slug, um, Sligoville in St. Catherine, Anthony and Bangor Ridge in Portland, Clamwell and Kildare in St. Mary, Belfast and Middleton in St. Thomas, Ulster Spring in Trelawney, and Leinster Road, Litterim Road, Waterford, Longford Road, the Killarani Avenue, Sackville Road, Kins Kinsale Avenue, all in Kingston and St. Andrew. You know, there are two St. Patrick churches and typical Irish fashion. The church on Windward Road is Protestant and the one on Waterhouse Road is Catholic, which the I believe there was a a war in Ireland, like you know, like um, like between the certain churches. The, I don't, I know the Catholics. There was like a war between the Catholics and I believe Protestants, man. You know, and you look at uh, Saint Patrick. Saint Patrick was a black man because he lived during the time of the Dark Ages. I believe uh three hundred something A.D. like three eighty A.D. He was born. They say in Britain, and he was uh kidnapped and brought to Ireland. And he was a Christian, you know, and only the Israelites could be saints, first of all. And the Israelites were first called um, Christians in Antioch. Man, let me get that. I'm going to get those two scriptures, man, because only the Israelites could be saints. All right. And um, only the Israelites could be Christ, the true Christians, man. And there is no coincidence that they name, um, that they have Irish names. Irish towns or little whatever uh, are little communities with those names, man. With those Irish names, because they know, man. You know, like the people at the top of the government, they know where we came from. They have all of our records, man. You know, when you go into, uh, if you want to go into your family lineage and shit, you go to the archives of wherever Jamaica or or wherever cities in America. You look up your family name and shit. You know, Esau has our, our, our records, man. So uh, so they know who our great-great-grandfather was and 
which country he uh he was taken from and all that shit. You saw those. You look up uh Slovakia. Let me get the scripture. I just forgot. Yeah. They're, 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 we're called Christian or saints. Yeah. Slovakia. Lost my train of thought there. It says of uh, Psalms 148 and 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. So that that's um that's a cut right there for you guys saying, Oh, that the Lord has more than one name or whatever. You could call him whatever you want. No, he only has one name, man. Alright, and that's his name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh, the Most High's name, and his son name is Yahweh Shai, man. They only have one name. All those other titles like lord and um you know um there's many titles whatever you know like that what the lord has but he has only one name man all those other stuff is titles or or like positions man you guys are trying to confuse the the, the um you damn sheep or you damn wolves in sheep clothing you guys are trying to confuse the uh the flock man and that's why you guys are going to get judged too. But let me stick on this topic. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent, and the glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. So, so no, no other nation could call himself a saint. All right? No other nation could call himself a saint or a Christian, man. Alright? Let me get that scripture. It's in Acts. Just bear with me, brothers. <laughs> Hebrews Acts eleven and twenty six, it says, um, Star 25, then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. Because what does the word Christian mean? Follower of Christ. All right. And uh, who were the followers of Christ? Who were the Isra uh, Who were the disciples, man? They were Israelites, man. All right. It says um Matthew ten and five. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth, commanding them, saying, "Go not into the way of the Gentiles." So the actual physical Gentiles, our people were uh, scattered amongst the Gentiles. So uh, we're not uh, we're commanded not to even teach you them Gentiles, man. Cause this word is not is not, is not for these physical gentiles, man. All right, our people were scattered amongst the gentiles in these different lands, throughout uh, Greece, Rome, and stuff. Um, throughout all of Asia Minor, that's who Paul went to, man. You know, uh, he, uh, Paul went to the Israelites who were scattered amongst these people in these lands, just like how we're scattered throughout the world now from uh, our so-called lands where we once dwelt whether you we're from jamaica or south america or central america you you know you might live in england then you go back home and they call you foreigner now it was the same thing back then said so these 12 yahweh shai sent forth a command them saying go not into the way of the gentiles 
and to any city of the Samaria to enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, a priest saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So that's a cut, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, because our people don't know who they are. Our people don't have no true uh, shepherd. Our people don't have a shepherd. Our people are just a bunch of lost sheep. Our people don't know who they are. You know, um, and they don't know where their true home is. Our people are gone astray. Yeah, um, that's why we um that's why now through the men of a uh, great millstone, you know, primarily who's teach who, who's teaching the right, correct doctrine, that we were able to wake up to our, our, our nationality, man. All right, because this word is a mystery and it's hid from the majority of these people. It's hid from these people, man. These people don't know. These people go to church and um they don't even know any scriptures or they don't even know who the hell they are. So do you think the most is dealing with them? Mosai is gonna is gonna is gonna he's gonna kill people like that, man, because they're not worthy. You know, because they don't know who the hell they are. You know? You tell them, you try to tell them certain stuff and they don't take heed. So the Mosai doesn't have need of them, man. You know? So as you go, priest saying the kingdom of heaven is is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out dev devils. Freely I yeah, receive, freely give. So at that time, the, the the apostles and the disciples they were able to cast out, you know, cast out demons out of people, man. Actually, heal people of 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 different disease and all that stuff, which we're gonna get that power, you know, so to speak. And like we already have that power to already, you know, cast out demons and sh and stuff, man. You know. And um, uh, who could receive it? Could receive it, man. You know, uh, you know, like you know, because a lot of people don't say, "Oh, um, you guys are crazy, man. You guys don't have power to do shit." But at the end of the day, whatever, man. If you receive it, you receive it. If you don't receive it, you don't, man. Who has ears to hear? Let them hear, man. You know, it says provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor scrip for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes. Nor yet staffs, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And into whatsoever city or town he shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till he go thence, man. And when you come into a house, salute it. If the house be worthy, let your peace be upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return unto you. So not, not everyone is even worthy of uh, finding out or hearing certain truths. Come from your lips, man, because some people are going to trample it under their feet. So for you guys who say, no, you, you should teach everybody. Um, This word is not for everybody to hear, man, because not everyone's going to accept it. And some people are going to trample right under their foot. So it says, whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words. When you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. You know? Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. So you're supposed to know how to move out here, man. You know? Especially for you guys who's uh, coming up and stuff, man. Just be discreet. Be, do more uh, observant than talking, man. You know, whether you're at work, you know, you're out in public, you don't have to engage everybody and let them know what you're about, man. Do more observing, man. And talk, you know, like, be smart, man. Don't do no dumb shit. There are certain scriptures where they say, oh, you're supposed to... There, there are certain scriptures where it says you're supposed to do certain stuff. Oh, you know, oh, you're supposed to read, um, read like, Leviticus 2013 or whatever. If you see a damn faggot, don't kill no damn faggot. You know what I mean? Like, it's like some of these guys, like, certain, like you know, like certain guys, they take stuff literal and they end up going to jail. You know, like, that's why certain camps, like, you had certain guys who end up going to jail. You know, because they might have had, like, how much wife, like, there was this one guy, he had, up, like, I think, three or four wives or so on. And then um, he thought the child was gay or something and he ended up killed the kid. Whatever then he now and then now he's doing life in jail, man. There's certain you know like there's certain script. It's like right now all you could do is rehearse the righteous acts, man. 
So you're supposed to know what you're doing out here, man. And you're supposed to have your, and, and, and you're supposed to ask of counsel, man. There's order in things, man. Um, that's why we have uh, our 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 elders who set up, man. Our apostles, man, who set up and stuff. You know. You're not supposed to just go off your own thoughts, and I'm kind of going off topic, but it's just the spirit, man. But um, yeah, but that was the point. This is um. It says um. And and this is back to the article. And then there were obviously Irish surnames with the less than obvious features. To go with them, the Berkeys, the Collins, the Lynches, the Murphys, the Maddens, the Mullings, the Lanigans, the Walshes, the McCarthy's, the Dumraks, the, Mc, the McDonald's, or the, Ma, the McDonald's, um, the McGann's, McLaughlin's, and the McMur McMorris, the O'Brien's, O'Connor's. I know a lot of uh, O'Brien's and O'Connor's, you know. But um, yeah, man, you could read this article here. Another good video to watch if you have the time. Is um, one moment here. Watch this video. It's called the real black Irish or Jamaicans. But there's a next video um about the blacks in the the Irish in Monsterette. Hold on, let me see if I could find it. Yeah, watch this video, the Black Irish are monster at, and in, in the Caribbean, man, this is a very good uh, documentary. I, I believe I believe there was a long documentary. I don't know if it's still there, but you know, you could watch that video, man. You know? But with that I'd like to say all praises to y'all, Bashimi Ashai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Please and blessings to the brothers out there doing the worst in truth and in sincerity. And with that I'd like to say shalom, man.